Hey everybody, welcome to Lambert Drive Studios and today's video is all about acoustic guitar. I'm going to show you how to get a nice and easy acoustic guitar recording setup for a few different applications for recording and I'll go through step by step how I achieve my acoustic guitar sound. So let's get the microphone set up and dive into it. So for recording acoustic guitar, my favorite microphone to use is a small diaphragm condenser and I have in my hand a Rode NT5. It's about a three, four hundred dollar microphone. I'll get a link for it and I'll put it down in the description so you can go take a look at it and see if it's something that you want to purchase. So I'll get it set up now and then we'll start testing the sounds and the placement. Okay, I'm going to get this microphone all set up. Some helpful things to consider before you actually start recording the acoustic guitar is number one, fresh strings on the acoustic guitar, have them a little bit broken in. I like to put mine on maybe like the day before, play it a little bit, then let it sit overnight and then I'll record with it. And then number two, tune it, tune it, tune it multiple times before you actually start to record. After you have those two things taken care of, then you can set up your microphones and start moving them around to get your sounds. Okay, I got my microphone all set up for recording now. I have it pointed right here. I know you probably can't see that super well, but the microphone's here and about a foot away, 12 inches away, I'm going to be sitting playing and I'm going to have the microphone pointed right here on the body of the guitar below the neck. This is the sweet spot I find for just recording just a simple acoustic guitar and a vocal song. I find that it captures the body of the guitar really well, especially if you're using a larger body acoustic, but small body acoustics work well. So the sweet spot is right here on the body of the guitar. We're gonna be about 12 inches away. And I'm gonna record a sample for you to hear right now. The microphone is going into a universal audio preamp with a low cut up to 75 Hertz. And then from my preamp, it's going into PreSonus Quantum 2626 audio interface no eq no compression other than just that low cut up to 75 hertz which gets rid of all that low end rumble which you don't want in acoustic guitar recording anyways so let's record a small sample and you can hear what this position and distance sounds like So that's position one you can try. Another position you can try with the small diaphragm condenser, if this is the only microphone that you're using, you can just move it up a little bit. And so now the microphone is pointed right around the 12th fret and I've got it facing inwards towards the sound hole a little bit, and I'm gonna record from the same distance still as well. It's gonna be about a foot away. So let's do a sound sample with that now. Okay, so those are the first two positions that I would try with a small diaphragm condenser, especially for a song that's just got an acoustic guitar and a vocal and it's nice and simple and you want to capture the full body of the acoustic. So you just want to try on the body first about 12 to 14 inches away and then you can have it pointed where it is right now, up 12th fret facing inwards towards the sound hole. So now I'm going to grab a large diaphragm condenser and we're going to try those positions as well. Okay, now I've got a large diaphragm condenser microphone in front of me. This is a Blue Bluebird. It's about a $400 condenser, so not super expensive, easily affordable. I'll put a link in the 
description as well for this microphone so you can go check it out and see if it's something that you can use. So I'm going to use the exact same two positions, starting again with the large diaphragm microphone pointed at the body underneath the neck. This is the sweet spot. This is my number one go-to recording spot for acoustic guitars. It just works most of the time. So point at the body about a foot to 14 inches away from the guitar. So we'll record a sample of that in all the same settings. I grab the cable and the same channel, everything's going in only just a low pass on the acoustic guitar of up to 75 hertz. That's position one with the large diaphragm condenser. We're going to move it to pointing at the 12th fret in towards the sound hole, position two now. Okay, I got it all set up in position two here now. So I've moved it over to the pointing at the 12th fret and then have the microphone turned slightly so it's facing in towards the sound hole. And we're the same distance, 12 to 14 inches away is a good distance for the microphone to record. So we'll try playing the exact same setup again. Okay, so that's my simple go-to acoustic recording setup. Small diaphragm, two different positions, and then using a large diaphragm condenser in the same two positions as well. Hopefully there's some helpful hints in there. And if you need any more help with it, do not be afraid, leave me a comment. Let's start the conversation and hopefully I can help you. If this video was good for you, make sure you smash that subscribe button, keep this channel growing, and I think I'll be coming back with some more acoustic guitar recording content, maybe a little bit more of a two microphone setup, which is something I use more often, but for now, get comfortable using just the small diaphragm or the large diaphragm condenser, whatever you own, and just trying things out and having some fun. Thanks for tuning in and hope to see you soon. Peace.